This video contains spoilers for the Netflix show, Cyberpunk Edgerunners. If you haven't watched it, watch the series first on Netflix. In two previous video, we already talked about 10 memorable quotes from Cyberpunk Edgerunners series. In this video, we will share 5 more quotes from the series. Let's check it out. One quote from David. You need to chill, Chum. Unless you want a strict diet of immunoblockers. I'm doing just fine, Doc. Better than fine, actually. It's like... I feel better in metal than in my own skin. Years after Maine's gruesome death, David finds himself on the same path, and must be put on a strict diet of immune blockers to get his cyberware under control. He dismisses Ripper Doc's concerns, confessing that he feels better in metal, the Doc has no choice but to agree with him that David's affinity for cyberware is completely insane. When David first got a military Sandivistan installed, it convinced him that he was special, he performed impossible feats and ignored the advice of Maine and Doc. This continues until the warnings become reality, and it is soon too late for David to turn back. Two. Quote from Lucy. I ran and ran. Heard shots and my friend's screams. But I never looked back. Next clear memory I have is of a junkyard. Home, I guess. But I was too scared to stay long. I roamed place to place. But there's no place like Night City if you want to hide. Netrunners are an important part of the cyberpunk city in Edgerunners, they have the unique ability to find information under layers of malware and rogue eyes. This is just a small sample of Lucy's horrific experiences as a young netrunner trained by Arasaka. She was part of an elite group tasked with diving into the ancient net to recover lost data most of whom never made it out alive. Lucy's backstory explains why she had to move from place to place, but she points out to David that for those who want to hide, there's no place like Night City. Even though it's been decades, Lucy is still afraid that the corpos will find her and put her back in that scary room. Three. Quote from Rebecca. What was that today? What was what? You know exactly what I mean. Froze up. That's all. Been freezing up a lot lately. Think I don't notice. I'm fine. A woman's eyes can be shrouded. David, who experienced symptoms of cyberpsychosis on several occasions, was silent when carrying out missions. This led Rebecca to become concerned about David's condition, and to ask David. David didn't want to tell Rebecca about his problem, because he didn't want to worry his friends. Four. Quote from Faraday.
our guarantee our Aseka welcomes us with open arms. This girl's a fast lane ticket up the corporate runs. Didn't see you as such a simp corporal climber. What are fixers if not glorified pet owners who keep their mercenary hounds well fit? There is but one true measure of success in Night City. The cyberpunk city and story would not be complete without a scheming villain, and Faraday is the perfect annoying antagonist. He gives a classic villain speech as he explains his plan to his followers, calling the fixers among whom he counts himself, glorified pet owners who feed their mercenary dogs well. According to Faraday, the only true measure of success is being able to exist in the corporate world. Fixers like him can only dream of being assimilated by the corpos, who are notoriously elitist and made up of only the richest and most powerful people in town. Five. Quote from Kiwi. Whoa, rare call, but dial. Even possible on this? Hey, Kiwi. What's up, up? No, nothing. Just, just a question I need to ask. A question? Not like, you know. No big deal. Like like how David's. David, fine. He's fine. Or a punk. Thought he'd need hand-holding help. But stepped up big. Big leader. Weird. And Farday. We're back on his payroll. Heard it, yeah. Main will snap a circ sip if he saw David. <laughs> yeah, you right. Some something on your mind, Luz. No, no. Like... Happy to hear he's holding up, that's all. Why call? Why? Just come see him. Huh? He's moping. Waiting. Always is you. Wants you. Wants you back us up. So 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 obvious. Yeah, I know. Still a no to go. Nah, no, not yet. Got something, but can't. Just gotta do it. Won't take long. Not long. Okay. Fucking mysterious, even even for you. What Pritha? Just remember what I taught you. Never trust a Sol in Night City. This was something Kiwi had always taught Lucy when she wanted to live in Night City. Do not trust anyone in Night City, not even friends who helped you. Because in the end, Kiwi, who said that to Lucy, actually betrayed her. Ironically, Kiwi trusts Faraday the person she should trust least in Night City, and ends up getting herself in trouble for trusting Faraday. For this reason, Kiwi has become one of the most hated characters in the series. Those were five memorable quotes from Cyberpunk Edgerunner series, hopefully they are useful for you. See you in the next video.